Hello everybody, welcome to Dragon Town. Today I'm going to teach you how to mod Blade and Sorcery. Psych! We're doing bone works today, baby. And before we get started, I just want to say it would really mean the world to me if you could drop a like on the video. And if you can also comment, it would really mean the world to me. Also, I have videos I make other than tutorials. They're really hilarious. I got everything that you could ask for. Desktop gaming, virtual reality, just full game playthroughs, even shorts. I got you hooked up. Just go check out my playlists. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, first things first, install your damn game. We need Boneworks installed. So how are we going to mod the game if we don't got it installed? All right, we got our game installed. We got our Boneworks. So what you want to do is you want to go right click it in your Steam, go to properties, and then from there you want to go to local files and then click browse. All right, now we're in the installation folder for Boneworks, which we need to be at. And from here, what you're going to need to do is go to this website on the screen and in the description. It's called Boneworks Thunderstore IO. So basically this is the website that you would go to to get some mods for your Boneworks. All right, so make sure to follow these steps very, very closely and carefully because Boneworks is very, very fidgety when it comes to modding. All right, so we're on the website. We're gonna wanna search by top rated and then we're gonna go ahead and download a couple mods. The most important mod being Melon Loader because it's our modding manager. So we wanna download Melon Loader mod that is not mod entanglement is a boneworks multiplayer mod we want that if you want to play with your friends uh we want custom maps player models and honestly that's it that's all we need okay so there's one other thing that we're going to need to get if you haven't already and that's a save file so just type in save and download the uh boneworks complete save I'll explain why we needed to do that. If you have beaten the game already, you don't need to do this. If you didn't beat the game, then you need it. All right, we got all of our mods ready. So this is what we're going to do. Follow this step very closely. First things first, we need Melon Loader installed, all right? We're going to go ahead and separate Melon Loader from everyone else, all right? We're going to forget about the other mods for now. Grab Melon Loader. Just drag all of this into the main directory for Boneworks, all right? And that's it. Step one, done. All right. Step two, what you're going to need to do is find mod that is not mod. We're going to also get player models and custom maps. All right. Also, we could throw um, entanglement in there. All right. So these are like core files. All right. We need to open and um, just as you can see here. They got the mod and plugin files, and so they have them also here. So you would just want to drag that over here into the main directory. For entanglement, you would just go into mods and put the DLL into that. Any DLL files go into mods. They're like the core files. Player model, bang, custom maps, boom, entanglement, Drag that into mod. All right, perfect. Now that we've installed all of our core mods, we're gonna have to run the game one time. So just double click your Boneworks. It's gonna launch up your melon loader right here. You can see it loading up the plugins. For this step, you don't need to uh, put on your headset. You just need to run the game just so that it could load up some plugins and some create some core files or folders for you. All right, so as you can see on the splash screen, we have Boneworks Tanglement. All right, so we're booted in. Now you just gotta exit. Simple as that. All right, now that you've done that, you can now install other mods. So go back to the website. Now you wanna install like custom items and maps and user data. So here's, here's your custom items for any custom weapons or things. And then here's custom maps. And here's your custom player models, all right? We're gonna go ahead and download the popular Spider-Man. So this is a core file. What else? Okay, so we wanna get a city map. Uh, we'll grab this Spider-Man player model as well. Mjolnir? Why not? Let's get Mjolnir. So, Spider-Man? You just put the DLL in. All right, DLL inside the mod folder. Cause it's like a core, 
it's a core mod. Now we go to user data and map. City map goes into custom maps. We got our Spider-Man outfit. We're gonna go ahead and just drag that into player models. And we got our weapon, Mjolnir. So we're gonna go ahead. All right, so here it shows that Mjolnir needs both of the custom items and also a DLL. So, um, go ahead and just drag that there. All right, perfect. And then we're gonna go into mods and go back here. Drag that into there. All right, I hope that you guys understand what's happening here. I hope this is clear enough. Um, I'm gonna go download some more stuff actually, because I'm excited. All right, now that we have whatever mods that we want installed, before we begin, we need to install our save file. So to do this, you just go to this PC, your C drive, go into users, go into your username, into app data, local low, scroll down till you see stress level zero, go into boneworks, and then now open your mod that you downloaded and drag all of this stuff over here and just replace. All right. Now what we did just now is essentially when you mod something for the utility gun and you use it, it shows a big, when you try to like spawn any custom weapons or anything really, it just shows spawnable. Spawnable, 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 spawnable on every page, on every weapon. That's because the game needs to be beat first before you could actually use the utility gun and all this stuff. And for some reason, it really bugs out unless you beat the game. So make sure to download the save file for the 100% for Boneworks, or make sure you have the game beat so you don't have that problem when you try to spawn custom weapons. So let's just clarify one last time. Dot DLL files go in mods on Boneworks, okay? Items are referred to as dot melon, so they just go in custom items. You can see right here. Melon, 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 okay? And the maps are BCM, BCM. They go in custom maps all right perfect all right now that we have all our mods installed let's go ahead and test it out we have everything working from our save file to custom maps player models and weapons so let's give it a shot all right so we're in the game let's uh access our bone mod oh we have utility gun All right, let's see. Great, all of our stuff is here. Perfect. All right, fuck that shit then. This thing's fucking strong. I'm Spider-Man, baby! <sighs> Pop it away, web! Fly! Go, web, go! <laughs> hey, everybody, just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here, just saying hello. <gasps> Guys, stop fighting. This is not mature. That's it. You're getting a bonk. You want some two punk?
All right, everybody, as you can see, the Boneworks mods works. So, heck yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to remember DLL goes in mod, BCM goes in maps, melt.melon go in items, and just, you know, yeah. All right, thank you, everybody. I really do appreciate you guys watching. It would mean the world if you could drop a like on the video and comment if this helped, and also what your favorite game in general is.